What's up you guys, Batjack JW here. We are filming this in full HD, so hopefully the video uploads in a decent amount of time so you guys can see it. Uh, if you are watching it, that means all went well and we'll try to see if we can do more of these. I chose this gun because of a couple of reasons. Anyway, this is my Cimarron uh, Frontier model and um, this is in 45 Long Colt, the uh, four and three quarter inch barrel. And we'll go ahead and uh, safety check this gun right now. A um, couple of reasons as I chose this gun is because I've read on uh, some of the things people were uh, talking about the uh, color case hardening um, not being all that great. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but it is not bad. Hopefully you can see that. It's uh, pretty nice. You know, this gun is a, is valued at, uh, I think, MSRP around $5, 550 something like that. I mean, don't hold that to me, but... Uh, you know, I bought this, I uh, got it, um, as you guys know, I work in a gun shop, so got it from Davidson's. And I uh, just wanted to give you guys a look at this gun, the bluing and how it, uh, how it looks. You can see there the uh, freaking Frontier 45 Colt. And um, a couple of reasons why I chose to feature this gun other than the, uh, the thing about the... Uh, color case hardening is because uh, if you guys have been keeping up with the channel uh, recently uh, have you seen the video where I shot black powder I've never done that really before and I always had the question in my mind how dirty is it how nasty is it? I've heard horror stories uh, friends of mine that are shooters uh, you know long time shooters telling me oh man you're gonna ruin your gun and all this stuff and uh, well this is the gun I did it with and um, I cleaned it up you can see the bluing is still nice and lustrous everything on it you can see you'll see the nice reflection on it so go ahead and uh, open it up and show you the, uh, the cylinder and everything um, I have been shooting wax bullets out of it so maybe a little residue left in there um, you know the frame everything my very first review with this gun um, I actually uh, talked about some issues that I had and what I did was actually I took a, um, a light file with some sandpaper and whatnot and I actually went through and just evened out some of these areas that were a little rough you know even a little bit on the face here not not enough to remove metal just to kind of slick it up a little bit I know if that makes sense I know when you you know you're removing metal either way but not enough to where I'm like actually filing and removing anything uh, extreme to where it's going to cause headspace issues but um, I also did it to the top here and that is caused because I noticed when they come from the factory and you'll see it on the cylinder it's kind of a little bit but I've seen it worse on other guns um, you'll get these scratches that are literally going um, in a circle other than your turn ring that you're getting from lockup notch to lockup notch but you'll get these scratches and uh, that is caused by some of the rough edges um, where the uh, the um, cylinder lockup hand comes into play, and you know some of the rough edges around here, you can almost feel some of these out of the stock when you get them. They're kind of you almost slice your your hand open on it. Uh, not this one. You know I've slicked it up, and everything. So that's something I got rid of and everything. Um, go ahead and put this back. And then I was complaining about the how this didn't go in very smoothly. Um, I did go ahead and kind of buff it up a little bit and. Um, slick it up just a little bit so now it um, I have no issues with it going back in there so this gun has had a little bit of after after play you know some of the things I did to it after after I've gotten it you know um, some of the things was just slicking up that action a little bit you know just I mean you can see just you know how easy it is to cock that thing um, slicked up the action a little bit on it so and these beautiful grips um, those of you that have been around the channel, you know I love John Wayne, and these are pretty much copies of his uh, grips that he used in the movies. They're supposed to represent a aged ivory look. And uh, for those of you that don't know, um, actually it was in I think it was in an American Rifleman magazine. They they talked about the grips that he used in his movies, and they actually were not real ivory. They were. Um, uh, Catalina or Catalin, how do you pronounce it or whatever? It's like a cheap uh, Bakelite 
plastic grips and supposedly he tea stained them himself so but these are made by buffalo brothers and they come out really nice they make it out of a composite something rather and they're really beautiful um, this is their ultra antique finish so you can see it's got some uh, patina um, into it not sure exactly how they do it but it's a beautifully done and they put the finger grooves on the right hand side because I'm left handed um, I got my other one here just uh, pop it in this is their um, antique finish or their uh, old ivory finish and this is just the standard yellow type of patina grip with the finger grooves they do a really good job with the finger grooves as a as it is on his real gun this one here is the finish that I did myself on this gun so it's kind of the worn finish um, did it by rusting out the gun and uh, scraping the rust and polishing it up and uh, so it's supposed to look like this really old and everything so and I brought up my case knife <laughs> because uh, it doesn't take much to realize why I bought the case knife uh, to accent my grips and everything beautiful knife I'm gonna do a review with this um, just in general I'll throw it up on the channel in a separate uh, video but yeah I got the case knife really shiny cool now uh, I wanted a gentleman's knife in kind of the uh, antique uh, yellow kind of grips there which they definitely did the case is really cool just in case <laughs> but I got a video coming up with that but yeah I just wanted to show this gun to you full HD just to kind of get a look at it this is what you're you know what to expect when you buy it um, some of you uh, probably don't even notice that there is something missing off this gun that's because I had uh, removed it uh, just because I needed the, the part for something but uh, yeah it does not have an ejector rod <laughs> because I took the spring out to use it and I think I might have put it in another gun but yeah so I do have it I just got to replace the spring so some of you may have noticed that anyway that's <laughs> not no they did not ship it to me that way <laughs> I removed it myself because I needed the spring for another gun so anyway just wanted to show that to you again Frontier 45 Colt full HD you can see all the nice color case hardening on there and if I can hold it steady, you know, not shake too much. But yeah, beautiful gun. Hammer mounted firing pin. So the uh, there is no transfer bar system. The safety is, um, if you guys want to know how Cimarron does it, is they put two notches on their uh, their rod. So the first notch is obviously where you where you want it if you're gonna just be using it, and if you want to put it on safe, you put it onto the second notch, which sinks the rod a little bit further. And see if I can get it for you done on this gun, so you can see what that looks like. Um, so uh, there it is on the first notch, and if you put it onto by pushing this, push it forward again. Um, if you can see down there, you can see it protrudes. See it. And so when you let it down, the hammer stops and it won't actually go through and contact the primer. So, and then um, see it there. So if I pull this rod back out, <laughs> all right, um, there you can see it. All right. So anyway, that's a look at the gun, the Cimarron Frontier model and 45 Colt, full HD. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll catch you next time.